welcome to The Breakdown, a show where I break down songs. This week, kids songs. We all know them, we all listen to them, and we've grown up listening to them, but does anyone ever think about the lyrics? I think not. Let's talk about this song. We can't quite figure out the exact lyrics, but we think it is. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring, he bumped his head in the middle of the bed and couldn't get up in the morning, something like that. Right. Let's talk about that! That song is about someone, an old man, probably nearing the end of his life, waking up, knocking himself out, giving himself a significant brain injury, and then dying. No wonder the Wiggles were so successful with songs like Fruit Salad, It Is Average, and like, wearing glasses is perfectly acceptable. I don't know if they're the song titles, but I had a lot on, so the prep on this was minimal. Another one, we all know the lyrics to this, we all sing it, but no one ever thinks about the lyrics. It goes, rock a bye baby on the treetop. What an irrational place to put a baby. Oh, should we put it in the crib? Nah, fuck it, put it on the treetop. Babe, should I put her in the bassinet in her room where it's safe or the rickety cradle on the top of a palm tree? Irrational. Who the fuck is picking the tree? When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. I mean, fucking obviously. And when the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. So the baby dies. Why do we sing that to children? And it's always babies. It's not like five-year-olds. It's like straight out of the womb kids. Dark. And then finally for this week's edition, there's a song that goes like this. Two little dicky birds sitting on a wall. What's a dicky bird? 10 bucks, who can tell me what a dicky bird is? Don't Google it, you can't. One named Peter, one named Paul. Who the fuck names a bird Paul? Well, Paul sounds like he runs the local bunnies. And then it goes, fly away Peter, fly away Paul. Come back Peter, come back Paul. It sounds like me on any Tinder date. I'm like, nah, I don't want you. Oh, you don't like me, come back, love me again. That song doesn't go anywhere. It's like there's these birds on the wall, they go away, then they come back. It needs a beginning, middle and end. It's poorly written. I've known so many dicky birds in my life. Actually, they've had small dicky birds, if you know what I'm saying. Small penis. And that concludes this week's episode of The Breakdown, where I break down songs. If you've got a song you want me to break down, don't email it to me, I've got enough going on. He bumped his head in the middle of the something or other and couldn't get up in the morning. What the fuck is He bumped his head. Oh shit. Fell out of the bed and bumped his head on the top of the bed and couldn't get up in the morning. Fuck, that sounds weird. That sounds word heavy. He bumped his head and fell out of the bed and couldn't get up in the morning. Look, it's something like that. I did actually work with Emma Wiggle as a dancer. Who the fuck names a bird Paul? It's true though, who wrote this shit? <laughs>